Meet Inkastar and Mimi Cliffy, a TikTok sister duo who post videos lip singing and hand dancing to popular songs. Not much is known about the sisters other than the fact that they're based in Russia and according to famous birthdays, Mimi Cliffy is 23 years old and although Inka Star doesn't have a birth year listed, she's a bit older than her sister. The content is pretty simple, in each video you got a song, a dance, and a list of emojis that show how to do the dance. But their content is very repetitive and kind of strange. For starters, they never blink in their videos and they rarely show facial expressions. People have also claimed that they often look sad, have bruises on their face and body, and wear bandages, which have given a lot of people an unsettling feeling. And as a result, it's left their viewers with a lot of questions. The main one being, are Inca Star and Mimi Cliffy kidnapped? So I've gotten a lot of requests to make a video about these two and talk about the whole kidnap conspiracy theory going on. I made a similar video in the past where I debunked the Bebop and BB kidnap conspiracy theory. And if y'all want to check it out, I'll leave it in the description box. But regarding the evidence to their quote unquote kidnapping, it pretty much follows the same lines of stupidity. So for today's video, I found a bunch of videos that people have made that prove Inca and Mimi are in danger and need of our help. So for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at them, seeing what people have to say, and honestly, just having a good laugh because some of these videos, oh man, some of these videos are so stupid that they make Harry and Marv from Home Alone look like criminal masterminds. So to start off, the first video we got is titled, Inca Star Will Die! Call 911! Explanation! Save them. Yes, they spelt it explanation, not explanation. Wow, that's a dramatic title. I mean, we gotta call 911 right now or else they're gonna die. Actually, hold on. Take a look at the pinned comment. It says the title is just clickbait and you can only call 911 if you're 18 plus. So imagine you're 16 years old, going on a walk with your bestie to get some ice cream until you see an old grandma get her purse snatched from her and fall to the ground. I'm falling. And I can't get up. She broke her ankle and you can call 911 and get her the help she needs, but only if you're 18 plus. If you're under 18, too bad for her. She's gonna have to wait and just sit there. I mean, by that time, she might shrivel up and look like the old grandma from SpongeBob. Chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. But at least you'll be 18 and able to call the police and get her corpse some help. Anyways, jokes aside, let's see what this video is about. Let me explain why Pell think they are kidnapped. Look at this. Wear pink if you need help and do swavy if you're in danger. And then the next video. See, they did swavy Mimi and also wore pink. Does that mean they are in danger? Oh my god. Okay, you, you see, this is why we need age restrictions on social media. So a big reason why people think Inca and Mimi are kidnapped because they leave a comment on their video telling them to wear a particular color and in their next video, they wear that color. So if they're doing what people are saying, that's gotta mean they're kidnapped, right? Well, no, it doesn't take a genius to look at the time the comments were posted and see that people are posting the comments after the next video was already made. For example, Do Suave If You In Danger was commented May 19th and Wear Pink If You Need Help was commented on April 4th. But that video where they did Suave and wore pink was posted on March 23rd, one and two months before those comments were made. Literally every single video is like this. Inca posts a TikTok, so people go to a previous video and comment what they wore in that new video. And people fail to look at the times those comments were posted and they think, oh my God, they actually did it. But no, those comments were made like, you know, one, two months, three months after the next video was made. All right, so the next video we got is titled, We Need to Help Them. Also, look how she shakes her head no after as if someone asked her a question. Watch how scared she looks, like she's asking for help through her eyes. Oh my god. <sighs> what type of facial expression is she supposed to make? Like, what is she supposed to do when she does the sleeping thing? Smile? Nah, nah, nah. She would be looking like she's in that movie smile. That is terrifying. Who wants that? It's honestly confirmation bias at its finest here. Inca slightly tilts her head back to reposition herself with a straight posture. How do you want her to reposition her neck? Like she's in the movie The Exorcist? It just doesn't make any sense. If someone was behind the camera asking her a question, you you'd think that you would look at them while they're speaking? All right then. We fell asleep, woke up, and were terrified. We don't remember the rest. Boy, if you don't- This person is honestly reaching more than Reed Richards himself. It's literally a dance to the lyrics. Someone really commented when she landed on the scary guy, it means that they were kidnapped by a man. Bro, the song is literally called The Monster. What emoji do you want them to put for the monster? A carrot? Or actually, no, maybe you could do a cookie to represent the cookie monster. But guys, wait, the video says there's more, so let's check it out.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Again, people fail to look at when the comments were made. The pinned comment was from one month ago and the wear white comment was from seven days ago. So let's just say the comment was made at least 21 days after the video was posted. I found the video and it was posted on June 26, 2022. But the next video was posted only three days later on June 29, 2022. So that means the comment on the previous video was posted 17 days after the next video was made. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Bitch swear. Bro, okay, I'm done. I just can't with this video anymore. All right, so the next video we got, it actually exceeds the level of stupidity that the previous one just had. And look, I get that it's probably kids making these videos, but I don't remember being this dumb when I was 10 years old. So the next video we got, it's got a pretty basic title, Inca Star Need Help. Let's take a look and see if they got any good evidence. <laughs> Okay, hold on, let me get this straight. So the person is claiming that in their old videos they used to blink, but in their new videos they don't blink. So taking a look at this again, they're arguing that the fact they don't blink in their new videos is because they're kidnapped. I, I, I don't understand the correlation there, but... Okay. okay, I don't know if y'all noticed, but I barely blink in my videos. Does that mean I'm kidnapped? And the comments in this video, they're so strange. Someone said, I'm pretty sure if you blink twice in a row, it means you need help. And another person said, Inna now, not Inna, because the real Inna is dead because she blinked. Like, what? How? Like, what? Bro, what? Someone killed her because she blinked? Like, how does that make any sense? Just imagine a movie where a guy is holding someone hostage and they look at them and are like, If you blink, like, how stupid would that be? Nah, but if you thought those two comments were dumb, hold on, I found an even dumber one. I found a comment where someone thinks that Inca is a robot. I found another comment where someone said, finally she blinked, because if she doesn't, she would become a doll. All right, so the next video that we got is titled, Proofs That Proofs Inca Star Girls Are Kidnapped. Honestly, there is one thing that's for sure. These titles just keep getting worse. No, no, no. So some people actually think that this TikTok is just a normal TikTok, but in my thoughts is that she picks the candy basically to tell us that if she got kidnapped and she got offered candy and they took her, but I think that I'm right. <laughs> All right, so let me get this straight. So because someone prefers to eat candy over broccoli and drink beer, it means they're kidnapped. And to be extra clear, you're saying that an 18 year old loves candy so much that they would go into a random stranger's van for some candy? Bro really thinks that Willy Wonka himself moved to Russia and kidnapped Inca Star. I think these girls need help. All right, all right, okay. It's probably the most normal title that we've seen thus far. And it's actually grammatically correct, which, you know, that's a plus. And I know we're definitely in for a good one because they got Roblox playing in the background. Playing Roblox while you're discussing a serious topic like a girl being kidnapped, being forced to make videos. I mean, you know we're in for some top tier Sherlock Holmes quality. Me and my friend think they are kidnapped. Just look at this clip. It looks like she is looking at someone. Best friend, we killing them. Here is a video where they show the help sign. All right, yeah, she is looking at someone. Inca's head. Bruh. If you don't want her looking at the back of her head, where do you want her looking at, her bum? It just doesn't make any sense. A kidnapper is willingly gonna let these two girls post a TikTok showing a hand symbol that means help. They're really making Harry and Marv look at the reincarnation of Einstein and Newton. There is another thing suspicious about them. It's their emojis they use in emoji challenges. Just see if you understand what they mean when they use these emojis. No, 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 no. The police car might mean that they need the police to help them. The eyes might mean that someone is watching them. Oh yeah, totally. And that lipstick emoji means the chap lips lady from SpongeBob is the wife of the man who kidnapped them. And the cake emoji shows the kidnapper forces them to eat cake every single day. And that poop emoji, well, it shows the aftermath of eating all that cake every day. You can make these emojis mean whatever you want it to mean. That's what confirmation bias is. All right, so for the last video, we got Inca Star needs help. Part three. I don't know what parts one or two were, but considering that this is the second sequel, I mean, it's gotta be good. Hey everyone, today I'm gonna be talking about Incaster. The <laughs> What was that? Just jump scare out of nowhere. I'm gonna show y'all some stuff that they do and signs that they need help. Here is one of their videos.
normal right, but that is until you slow it down in the beginning. As you can see it looks like one of the girls were trying to pick the police one and the other girl didn't let her. Oh my god. Okay, first of all, I, I don't know if y'all realize, like I don't know if you actually make TikToks, but when you're making the TikTok, like you got your camera on, you press record, you don't see any of those emojis or text in the background. When you're recording, it ju it's just a blank screen, all you see is yourself. You gotta put all those emojis after you're done filming the video. I don't know if y'all know, but the emoji movie is not real. It is fictional. You don't have emoji just floating all around you. If you look at another one of their videos, just look real closely. No, 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 no. If you zoom in and slow it down, it looks like she hasn't slept in days, and she's using makeup to cover the bags now. Where? Where am I looking? Where are these bags you're talking about? I mean, clearly not in my wallet because I'm a rogue boy. But I mean, even then, baggy eyes, like they're a common thing that affect about 27% of people. Trust me, I get my beauty sleep. I sleep like a princess, but even I have baggy eyes. But yeah, totally. Girls only wear makeup to cover up their baggy eyes. Also, if you see the other girl's hand, it looks like she has a bruise on her hand. Bitch, where? Bitch, where? Uh, I, I'm done with these videos. I, I, I can't. I'm continuing to get brain damage. For what? All right, so my overall thoughts on Inga Star and Mimiko at Fee, I find the entire thing to be ironic because if they really were kidnapped and were forced to make videos, y'all commenting on their videos, viewing them, sharing them, making videos about them, it's only making them more popular and getting their TikToks more and more views, which at the end of the day would help this apparent kidnapper get more money. And on top of that, don't forget that Inga Star is verified. And in order to do so, you have to submit a photo identification like a driver's license or passport. I'm just gonna flat out say it. I don't think Inga Star and Mimi Cliffy are kidnapped. But my problem with people thinking these two girls are kidnapped is that it takes the seriousness out of people who are actually in danger. People convince themselves that making TikToks and showing a lack of emotion and not blinking means that you're kidnapped. But by saying that, does that mean if you don't have TikTok, you can't be kidnapped? The reality is you can be smiling on the outside, but it doesn't mean you're okay in the inside. I don't believe these girls are kidnapped because it just doesn't make any sense. Why would they have access to a phone and social media, but not tell people that they're kidnapped or call the police? If children, people who think the Easter Bunny is real totally is. Don't you think that the kidnapper themselves would clue in to what's going on and not let them post, you know, all, all this evidence? And if the apparent kidnapper was making money, you've got to link your credit card. And then when it comes to doing taxes, I mean, you got to put all your personal information on them. You take a look at their Instagram and they're living normal lives out in public, surrounded by dozens and dozens of people. People fail to understand that social media isn't real. There's a thing called acting. That is exactly what these two girls are doing. It is nothing different than watching a movie on Netflix. At the end of the day, they're making videos for your or entertainment. And what these kids are doing, it's not a bad thing by any means. They, they have good in their hearts and you know, I, I, I really respect that. But at the end of the day, it really does create some problematic beliefs because then you're gonna be thinking that people who are smiling are not in danger and are not sad and don't need help. At the end of the day, trauma looks different in everyone. But anyways, with all this being said, I want to know your thoughts on Inca Star, Mimi Cliffy, and this whole kidnap conspiracy theory. Let me know. Also, if you're both educated and entertained, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. But anyway, guys, that's officially gonna do it. So until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace.